Yeah, you know, times have changed a lot. You know, when I got into it, and I was about your age, Austin, when when I started racing, and, uh, uh, you know, I ended up having to get out of school. You know, I quit school in the ninth grade, and I try to tell you guys that I want you to see you go on to college and race. Find that one beautiful girl that's uh, out there that says, Honey, I don't want you racing. And then what do you got to do? <laughs> then you got to have a job. Yeah. Right. Yes, sir. I can remember coming to the fork in the road where I could have went either way, you know, a tough, rough, outlaw life, or I could, you know, do what I, uh, the way I ended up going was racing. And bought that first old race car and gave $20 for it. And I even had a partner in it then, ripped the interior out, started tack welding roll bars in it, and went out there and raced it. Barry Dodson was my first employee, and uh, we'd go on these northern tours, and we'd be gone like three or four months. The command has been given to fire the engines, and we're moments away from the start of the Rebel 500. It's cool at Darlington today, a threat of rain, and Childress isn't bundling into all that fireproof gear to keep warm. Cockpit temperatures will quickly climb over 100 degrees. What about, what was your first big win? My first big win was probably at Metrolana Speedway. This was in 75 or 74, 75. We went over there and I sat on the pole in, uh, that day. Had a really, really good car. The guy that finished second was Dale Earnhardt. Dale come by and he said, I'm, next time I race you, I'm gonna beat you. Every time he raced me after that, he beat me too. 